we kind of thrived on this, and um, the whole campus did. And I think um, I, I've, I've been, I've just been impressed with the way everybody has embraced this elevation. Just six months after the move to Division I was announced, UMass Lowell athletic teams were competing, playing a challenging Division I schedule, which found the Riverhawks on the road more often than not, and found the Riverhawks holding their own as well. There were some terrific moments and strong performances. Men's basketball was 500 in the conference, so was baseball. Track and field featured several America East champions and a slew of school records. Some teams did better than others on the scoreboard, but year one, this first year of a four-year transition that prevents teams from playing for a conference championship or a trip to the NCAA tournament was not about wins and losses. It was about so much more. Yeah, don't forget the reason that we elevated uh, first and foremost had to do with affiliating with similar public research universities in our geographic footprint, uh, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Stony Brook, uh, UMBC, et cetera. So um, it is a broad campus initiative. It isn't just about athletics. This first year was about a financial plan, a branding strategy, the classroom, building schedules, programs, and relationships, working closely with the financial aid office, admissions, the registrar, the development office, public affairs, and the America East Conference office, and so on and so forth. Success in this first year could not and would not be measured by championships. That was a hard um, reality for student athletes here and uh, to watch them in practice, in competition, with the spirit they demonstrated, the energy, the commitment to improve and get better, and uh, the willingness to accept this role for the university, um, to, to uh, represent the university during this four-year transition so that future student athletes would have, an op would have opportunities to compete at the highest level. Uh, you have to applaud the student athletes for that. They really were terrific all year long. Year one of the transition was a success. UMass Lowell has submitted its first year NCAA Division I report and updated strategic plan. Every commitment that was made to America East and to the NCAA has been met. And for the first time ever, the student body as a whole finished with a better than 3.0 grade point average. The athletic department staff's been increased by 30, and that has brought a new energy. Student athletes recruited to play in Division II have stood tall in Division I. This first year was, for the school, the staff, the student athletes, a chance to transform an organization. And without question, they embraced that opportunity. So uh, you've got to build this slowly. Uh, you've got to build it um, with, with um, individuals who share your values and what you're trying to accomplish. They want to be in the fight with you, basically. You know, you want them in your foxhole. That's what we're looking for, those kinds of student athletes. Men's ice hockey has played at the Division I level for more than three decades and has often been pointed to as the roadmap guiding this current transition. If that is the case, great things may lie ahead. Riverhawk Hockey won its second consecutive Hockey East Tournament Championship and made its third consecutive visit to the NCAA Tournament and made clear that it is very comfortable on a national stage. So what does one say about this year? How does one sum it up? in just a word. Resolute. Uh, resolute, Bob, is, is characterized by um, a determination and spirit in our actions. Uh, and I would say that that captures uh, what we've been about. Uh, moving forward, Bob, it's, um, it's going to be critically important that our efforts have a combination of, of vision, teamwork, and perseverance. And Resolute uh, captures that, that uh, spirit for us.